Hi, this is Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to discuss an algorithm for searching and replacing text in OpenXML word processing ML documents. The first thing that I'm going to do is discuss how Word searches and replaces text. Here I've got a little bit of text in a document. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to bold and italicize the IN in insert. Now I'm going to replace insert with add. So what you can see here is the replacement text has the same style as the first character in the string of characters that matched the search string. In this case, the I is bolded and italicized, so when I replaced insert with add, the entire string of add was bolded and italicized. One more thing to pay special attention to when searching and replacing text are bookmarks. I'm going to insert a bookmark here. I'll call it bookmark A. And now I'm going to replace the with the special. And now I'm going to go to that bookmark. And what you can see is the left edge of that bookmark was slid over so that it is at the edge of the replacement text. This behavior makes sense. It doesn't really make sense to try to figure out where to place the start of the bookmark in the replacement text. Instead, the bookmark should simply be moved to the edge of the replacement text. Now let's walk through the process of searching and replacing text and look at some markup as we go through that process. Here I've got a small document that has this is a test. Is is bolded. I'm going to search for is space a and I'm going to replace it with is a special. Save it and close it. Let's look at the markup in Visual Studio. Here we can see what we expected to see. This is in a run. Is is in a run that has the bolded style. And a test is in its own run. Let's close this document. The easiest way to explore the algorithm is to insert a bit of code that dumps out the markup of that paragraph at various points. First I'm going to dump out the markup before it's modified and we can see the same markup that we saw in Visual Studio. Now the next thing that the algorithm does is it iterates through all of those runs and breaks those runs up into multiple runs each run having a single character. Let's run the code again. Now we can see that this is broken up into four runs. Is is broken up into two runs each with run properties that indicate that the text is bold and a test is broken up into multiple runs. After breaking the text up into multiple runs it's pretty easy to write some code to iterate through all those runs and also iterate through the search string looking for a match. Once a match is found what the code does is creates a new run element with the properties of the first character of the string that matched the search string. It then inserts that new run and it removes all of those runs that have a single character in them. So let's look at the markup after going through that process. And here we can see that all of those other runs that didn't match the search string still are runs that contain a single character. We can see here the inserted run with the replacement text followed by the remainder of the runs with a single character. After doing this, it is a valid document and it isn't technically necessary to do anything else to create a valid document. However, it's a bit messy to have all of those runs in there that have a single character in each run. So the code that starts here and ends here goes through 
and consolidates runs that are adjacent and have the same formatting. So now if we dump out the markup for that paragraph, we see the markup is cleaned up. There are three runs. The first run says this. The second run is bolded and has the text, should be another. And the third run has test. This is what we expected to see. That's all I'm going to show in this screencast. Thanks for watching.